Welcome everybody to a Thursday night edition. Chiefs focus first and 10, getting real close, close to Christmas. We're going to call this the COVID special. How you doing, Caleb? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. I mean, you know, uh, just uh, waiting to see what happens on Sunday and who's here, who's not here. Mm -hmm. um, hearing things and, you know, just running the laughing at the rumor mill on Twitter and then, oh yeah, you know, listening to all the other stuff that uh, mm -hmm. people are telling us, you and I that have um validity i guess but uh they're all uh you know everybody's got their own mindset uh when it comes to this the covid situation we tried to explain it on twitter but it seemed like it bypassed a lot of people so you want to explain it or you want me to do it man you're better at it than me because i still don't understand the protocols all i understand now is that if you're asymptomatic you can play most likely well it's it, the way they test originally, the reason why the NFL changed it three times is once they actually had the thresholds backwards. So at 35 and up on your th threshold, mm -hmm. then you're really, and you're asymptomatic, then you're able to play. So this is uh, a scale like, so what's a scale zero to what? Zero to, it's zero to, it's actually zero to 40. So zero or or 40. Okay. And basically how they do it is I read it back and I mean, I read this, this, the CDC thing probably eight times and mm -hmm. made sure I was right on it. But they basically take a, um, a fluorescent dye. They mix it with an acid. They mm -hmm. also mix that with your saliva and they spin it 40 times. Mm -hmm. um, depending on when that separates or lights up, I guess you should say, whatever number, whatever rotation number that separates is, is your chances of having COVID. The higher the number, the lower the chance. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these guys... And also there's different ways of contracting COVID that you may not, you may not actually have it. So some of these guys that, you know, they go on again, we talked about this on the other show, there's a protocol and then there's a list. If you're on the COVID list, that means you've tested more than once and you, and you've got COVID you were below that 35 spins. I'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. um, if you test and you test at say a 35 or a 36, then they will put you on protocol until you, pass again at 35 or 36 and if you continue to you know so if you fluctuate from that point on then it's a different but there's different ways that it'll enter your system and show up mm -hmm. as a positive it could be a weak positive which they consider anything above 36 is a kind of a weak positive mm -hmm. but um it can be environmental you could have gotten it from water they said um you can get it from something you ate you can also get it from the vaccine. And I had people arguing with me on Twitter about that. But if you look at it, the vaccine actually puts a certain amount of COVID in your system, a synthetic style COVID or whatever they want to call it. But um, so if you are, if your immune system drops or you are exposed to someone that is like, like Traverius Ward last week, he had the flu. Okay. Mm. We, we knew about that. We talked about that before the game yep. and then after the game. Um, so his system, his immune system was already down. So then he was around someone or may have, um, it could have been environmental. It could have been, you know, just false positive, false positive from having the vaccine. So some of these guys are like him and who was it? Somebody else passed in three days, another player. Uh, Ward passed in three days. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the only person that we player that we know that has gone, gone through, like get the protocols very quickly. And that's why they feel like Kelsey and Hill could possibly yeah, play this Sunday because of if it was the same, I guess, I don't know. They caught yeah. the same thing from the same person. I don't even really know, but as we know, as like, we see what uh, how the flu uh, does in the past, it will go through a locker room. So COVID is no different. No, even the stomach bug. I mean, anything will go through a locker room because everyone's loud, talking, correct, yelling, having a good time. So it's just yeah. going to spread. And you're not very far from each other. I mean, it's not like you yeah. can stay six feet apart in a locker room. Um, oh yeah. So it you know, and no one's six feet apart in the huddle. Everyone's like right next to each other. Exactly. I mean, literally right next to each other. Exactly. So, you know, and then it was there was a big argument on Twitter about who caused it. Okay, look. I'm going to tell you now, Josh Gordon didn't cause everybody to get COVID. Okay. That's not the reason why this team got it. It's one person's not going to pass it around that much that quickly. Josh had it for a lot longer than everybody else. So he was full blown, had positive COVID. Mm -hmm. um, 
just because he had it doesn't necessarily mean it to gave it to everybody in that locker room. Okay. Um, again, if you look at the Cleveland Browns, you look at the Jets, you look at the Philadelphia Eagles, there's another team that just got four more come on today. I think that was the well, Washington football team. Might have been the Washington football team. Yeah, I think, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it's I'm, one I'm, of the teams out a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I mean, at one time Cleveland had 17 players. Mm-hmm. You know, the Rams had so many that they didn't have enough players to play. Mm-hmm. So that's why their game was moved. <clears throat> um, so it all boils down to right now the way it's surging they could have gotten it anywhere and it could have just again it could have been through food it could have been through anything and mm-hmm. if it was and then they pass it quickly uh then they're going to play i do know this that you know as we talked about this as well you know we we put out somebody put out no new well actually everybody put out no new cases all the checkmark guys put out no new cases what day was that um it was yesterday but mike rimmer's in the beginning mike rimmer, COVID. And I put that out and like no one, I was like, wait a minute, that's you. And they put that earlier in the day. And then yeah. he ended up, they put him in the list for about five, six, five, C, yeah. five, six CT times. So I was yeah. like, well, technically they're, and then they tweeted today saying no new case to give the chiefs. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Rimmers. So I don't know what was going on there, but it, I, don't I don't either, but I found out about rumors that morning. So I don't know why mm-hmm. they didn't know, but, um, mm-hmm. well, I'd say around, I think it was 1130 my time. So it would have been. Mm-hmm. Well, 1030 my time, so it'd been 130 central time. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I don't know where they why they didn't know, but I found out about it. And that's why when somebody asked if anybody somebody asked me if anybody else had contracted it, and I said Rimmers. And mm-hmm. then it came out again. No new te- no no new positives for Kansas City. Mm-hmm. I thought, okay, well, he's got it, so we'll see. Mm-hmm. And he, you know, he has it. But uh, well, hopefully it's at bay now. I mean, I don't know, man. That's I mean, the they got, that's the hopes. I mean, I did know I was told that there was probably going to be at least I think it was on our last show when we talked. Mm-hmm. Um, that was Sunday. Sunday. No, yeah, that was Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Um, I was told that it was going around and I knew that we were going to get hit hard, but I didn't mm-hmm. know to the extent. And then somebody had asked how many more players? And I said three to four. And that was on. Yeah, you said you put on Twitter. You said about four more. And like you yeah, said, about, about four more. Yeah, about four more ended up with it, and well, already had or it, five or six. Yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. you're right. You said more could be yeah. more. Yeah, and it, it just is what it is. It's you know it. I I do want to bring up one thing though, and I did put it out on Twitter, and and you know some people took it maybe a different way than they should have, but sitting there <clears throat> and calling out Harrison Butker because of his religion or because of his political status or whatever you think his reasoning is for not getting a co- the, the, the vaccine is ludicrous. At one point he, you know, in the off season, he didn't have it. We all knew that cause he was wearing the band. That was last year, I think. Um, and then we were kind of alluded to that he did get it or he was considering it. So regardless of everyone out there, I mean, he was, there was people out there saying, is he Mormon? Is he this, is he that? I didn't want to say what his what his uh, religious. Well, he's Catholic. Was. I'm he's pretty Catholic. sure he is yeah. Catholic, and I knew that, but I wasn't gonna. It's not my business to blow it out all over the place what he is, mm-hmm. but to sit there and and slam a guy because and make fun of him on top of it, he seems mm-hmm. like Chick Fil A to me. Well, okay, first of all, whoever said that was really stupid, and whoever laughed at it was even more dumb because they're owned by Southern Baptists. Mm-hmm. They're not owned by Mormons, and <clears throat> Baptist people. Have, you know, they're, they're getting vac- vaccinated just like everybody else. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's, I know there's a select group of Mormons that aren't getting it and they don't believe in it. And that's fine. That's their choice, but don't call out somebody because of that. That's just stupid. And it was a big outlet that was making that they had this kind of going around. Mm-hmm. But to clarify, he is unvaccinated, correct? He is not. Yeah, he, he's he not, is unvac he unvac not unvac- un, unvac- he's a, yes yeah. he's unvaccinated correct mm-hmm. so that's um, why he's out for the ten day period and we don't correct. have a, but we that's why Veach I mean it made sense why Veach thought the forefront to get an extra punter and an extra yeah, he saw it coming he because saw it coming. he knew it was gonna come like well it makes sense you gotta do his best for your team now hopefully yeah. this guy Elliot Fry can help us out but I mean I don't want to lose the game because we don't have Bucker but hey we're, we're also what happens happens I mean people hey, make decisions we all gotta live with them but there's two when players you look, on the Chiefs right now they don't have it. One of them was already cut. From what I understand, there's only two. And 
I, I don't, I mean, I can tell you it's Buck Kern. I know that Daniel Sorensen's not vaccinated. I'm pretty sure they're the third, but we'll talk about that off here. I'm pretty okay. sure they're the third there might player. Be, but I, I, there might be, but I know there was two. And then but I know regardless, t- regardless, I mean, let's just hope if they're, whoever's sick, everyone be okay. Cause no one wants you to deal with that Correct. stuff. It's not fun. No, it's mm-hmm. not. So um, moving on if Tyreek and um, I mean, right now that. Oh yeah. So what's the timetable? Out. Will they, could they play? I mean, what are your thoughts? Cause we got the game three days, well, two days, technically yeah, three days from now. Yeah. From what I heard, it was kind of weird. One of them said that they thought Kelsey could come back before Tyreek. I don't know why that was, but one of the well, Kelsey did go on the thing before Tyreek. I'm pretty well, sure. Well, maybe, maybe that's it. And maybe, I mean, look, and it, just so you guys know, some of these guys actually contracted it prior to it being announced. They just didn't know it. So the guys that were mm-hmm. on the protocol actually had it in their system a little bit early. So mm-hmm. we all we we talked about this with a, a Fox News, a Fox Sports reporter. And he asked me, so what do you think the likelihood is of COVID getting spread after that? You know, cause we had a short week mm-hmm. and I said, well, to be honest, I said more than likely you're probably going to see a couple before the mm-hmm. game. I said, then after that, that's when you're going to see them all hit. And he mm-hmm. goes, really? And I said, yeah, it's a short week. I said, you know, COVID takes a little time sometimes to show up. And if they did contract it and if they're vaccinated, they didn't have to test every single day. So okay. You know, it, it is what it is. I said, but somebody put out there, well, one outlet put out, well, Charvarius Ward is having COVID-like symptoms. Well, that could be the flu. Okay. Um, if you're vaccinated, you have the flu, your, your immune system drops, it will give you a false positive. And that's probably why it came back so quickly. Yeah, because three days, like, well, I mean, it's possible. Yeah. Maybe he either he got over really quickly or, I mean, yeah, you never know. So Yeah, so, I mean, the likelihood of, either one of those guys playing i would probably say is you know i mean there's a chance but you're just they're not going to in my opinion they sh- they probably should have really um thought about i know that a certain group thought about moving a certain network thought about moving this game and they tried mm-hmm. um they love the prime time money yeah um so if that and i got that from somebody at that network so i know that to be a fact Mm -hmm. um they were pushing to have that moved um they wanted it on tuesday night so the thing is if we've got enough players to play they're going to have the game Mm -hmm. and i think the reason is is because one it's pittsburgh um and there was some smack talk going around a little bit about Melvin Ingram Melvin Ingram, Mm -hmm. and I think they're just you know they don't want to screw up the schedule any more than they already have but again you got to look at it from both sides okay you got fans in the stands you got coaches you got everybody that's on that field from cameramen to you know water boys to everybody that's on that field that has Mm -hmm. to be susceptible to this disease Mm -hmm. so if you've got you know a chance of other players maybe having it because your whole team just contracted or, you know, 16, 17 players just contracted COVID. Mm -hmm. Then you really got to think about it a little bit. In my opinion, I would have probably said, okay. And not for any other reason other than the fact of safety, because I'm Mm -hmm. not really concerned whether we have Tyreek out there or we have any of other wide receivers at Mm -hmm. this point. I'm I'm not, I mean, am I, is Tyreek going to help us win? Well, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. He's going to help. Is Kelsey going to help us win? Hell yeah. But we still have a strong group of guys and, you know, of course we've had, you know, if, if I think if um, Jody wasn't injured at the, you know, at, at the beginning of the season there or five games in then, or three games in or whatever it was, um, Mm -hmm. I don't think Kelsey would play anyway, whether he was cleared or not. I I would really have a quality backup. We know that can play exactly. And nothing against Blake bell or or, um, I think bell's got it. Doesn't he? Oh, I th- yeah, I think he is on yeah, the list. He's on the list as well. I know one of the, uh, I don't think it, it's not the, uh, it's not a uh, gray. Yeah, so. it's, it's, it is, I think.